Okay. We've got the Golden Bachelor, Gary Turner, the 71-year-old Bachelor looking for love. This is the newest addition to the Bachelor franchise. So is this in place of the regular Bachelor no, or is it in addition to? No, just an to? addition. It's okay. coming out sometime this fall. They just released like the promo videos for it. That's what I sent you, one of the promo videos. And I'm obsessed with this guy. He's 71 years old from Indiana. And when he was asked like what he was looking for in a partner, he said someone who is high energy and plays pickleball oh. and maybe plays golf. Wow. Like, okay. I think we can find you that Gary. Like, I think we can, or is it Jerry, Jer Gary or Jerry? Wait, with a G it's with a G. I think it's Jerry. Jerry. You're probably right. With G E R R Y. I feel like it's Jerry. And I feel like Gary would have to have an A. a you're so right. I also don't really like the name Gary. So I'm hoping it's Jerry. Okay, Jerry with a G though, whatever. Yeah. So homeboy married, well, somehow sweet. He married his high school sweetheart, Aww. but she died in 2017. Oh. So That's I know, sad. super sad. So this series is going to follow him as he meets women who are looking for love in this later stage of life. Like 71 is definitely the later stage of life. Like you could have told me the Golden Bachelor was like 50s or 60s. 60, yeah, like 65. 55. What do you need to get this? I guess that's middle aged. Middle aged. Like middle aged would be like 50s or 60s. True. Like what are your golden years? But I agree. I was expecting maybe like someone in their 50s or 60s. Who's yeah. He looks good for 70. He looks fine for a 71 year old. Like he looks like he has a lot of, that's why he wants someone high energy. Can I say something that's like probably not the right do thing it. to say? I just like, I don't want, okay. I'm not a big believer in like PDA uh -huh. in general. Ever. I don't like to see it. I'm like a grumpy, like old lady. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm I'm fine with some PDA. Like affection I'm okay with. I don't like the raunchy, like I'm just not about that. It makes okay. me uncomfortable. I don't like to watch it with my parents. I don't like to watch it with my like friends. I don't like to watch it with Michael. I just don't want to see it. I definitely don't want to see it with people in their 70s. <gasps> I'm sorry. I just Oh my don't. God. I didn't even think of like them making out on camera. Yeah, that's the first thing Ew. I thought of. Because I'm thinking of The Bachelor <laughs> and it's all like- Sure, tongue swapping there's, there's like the the drama oh. which i live for like someone's not here for the right reasons like that yeah. i live for that like that invigorates my soul but as soon as they're on the date and then they just start like making out for 10 minutes and we're just hearing like their mics of like the Ew, weird makeout noises i get grossed out by that even when i'm looking at a hot 22 year old yeah so like the thought of the potential of that being someone in their 70s does freak me out just a little bit. Well, and I'm think, hoping that it'll be a classier yeah, version like, of the show. Do you think they'll be a little bit more modest? I would really hope so. <laughs> I, I have Truly. heard, though, that like the older you get, the, yeah, the bigger just, the drive. So I don't know. I just really, uh, I don't know. Maybe don't Gary, know. Jerry, oh, who now, married his high school sweetheart, is going to have some class. And it'll be a cute love story. Yeah, so I contestants. I think it would make me sad seeing a bunch of like women right? in their seventies like fighting with each other over a guy. Like, it just that would make me sad too. Well, I wonder if there's like a minimum age for this because these are people that could have been divorced, widowed, or never married before. So, like, we don't know what we're getting for. Contestants. There's a lot more to it. Yeah, there's a lot more. Like, there's dynamic. There's people's kids. There's people's grandkids at play. True. Stepchildren, maybe. <sighs> Yeah, Step okay. Grandchildren. Well, I am intrigued. This I'm, could be very drama. I'm filled. curious to see the the approach they take because I could see it going really like interesting and well, and there's a lot of depth to it, and it could be very sweet and cute and like good. But I also don't want it to be like weirdly raunchy and it's, like inappropriate. That's all I have to say. I don't know if that is like the wrong thing to say, but no, that definitely didn't I cross my mind, and now I'm like. I think I'm thinking about Definitely my grandparents and like out. even parents. Like I just, there's some things that I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, do it behind closed doors. Yeah. That's okay. Well, the photo in the, or I'm sorry, the rose in the photo was gold, which I thought was dope. Like yeah. I, if he gives out like actual gold roses, like I'm so here for that. I agree. Do something different. That's how you know the Bachelor franchise is just sinking when they're like, all right, let's come up with a new show. I know. Yeah. Or is that mean it's doing well? Like I can't tell. I don't know. I like how would they get approval for a new show? I was so want? bored watching episode one of the new season. The new season of The Bachelorette. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, why were you bored? I don't know. Just the same thing every time. I don't know. I'll like tune in. Usually what I do is I will always ruin 
the final uh, four for myself. I'll go to Reality Steve and I'll find out who the final four are and I won't tell Mystery Man and I'll be like, so who do you think? Like, what do you think? Like, ooh, connection. And like, it's just a fun game of like- And like try to get in his head. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that being fun. 